it, it is like known that uh, people like sometimes cry in therapy right so uh, i want to answer this question for everyone so uh, according to you guys what do you guys think about people crying in a therapy session um do you mean like the reasons why it could happen or um do we think it's like a commonly occurring phenomena or how do you mean that question more of a, is it a, is it a commonly occurring phenomena is it good that they cry is it bad that they cry uh is like is they, are they allowed to cry and like everything like are on that uh, side as a question right i think that's a very interesting question i feel like a lot of i remember the first time that i went to therapy i did not cry at all and i think i was almost expecting to like have a space where i would be able to um and then i just realized that like therapy also helped me realize that i could have a different venting mechanism um and i wouldn't have recognized that because i was judging the therapy as like unsuccessful because hey you didn't make me comfortable enough that i could cry <laughs> but then i realized wait maybe i i just don't need to i'm not a crier so but i do think that that happens like that moment i've heard a lot of my my friends and even like peers who are in the field talk about what a what a good release that can be for people who have roles to play in society that conflict with the idea of like showing vulnerability so like moms who have to be strong all the time or single parents or you know people in professions like being a doctor or being uh, you know a, a law enforcement person that you you can't show that vulnerability anywhere else so I, in that i think it's super valuable uh that is true that is true uh ilaka i think it's okay that people cry in therapy because if if that's their way of working through emotions um that would be helpful for them um but sia brings up an interesting point that maybe if therapy helps you find other ways to relieve your um pressure or whatever you're experiencing or maybe that I don't know how to articulate this well but it can help give you clarity about the issues that you feel like you want to cry about anyway so then in the end you don't need to cry but crying is okay if you feel comfortable enough to do so and if it helps you in that scenario i know uh, a mental uh, kind of approach that i take sometimes to crying especially um because i tend to cry when i get emotionally or passion like high emotions about anything right whether i'm arguing about something very passionately or like something really great happened or something really bad happened i tend to cry so something that i've been trying to do is like try to use my words to express instead of crying so that's like a personal thing that i try to do but uh, i think it's okay that people need to if they need to cry they cry it's okay it's just a way of expressing emotions and if it helps them actually talk about what they came to talk about instead of hiding it then that's good that is <clears throat> sorry uh that is a very good point um i was actually very very surprised when i saw uh whether crying was allowed as a question on google when i was looking for questions for on therapy and uh, there were multiple questions on crying um, like with associated with therapy and uh, that's why i brought this question and i think uh, it should totally like be okay uh nobody would judge you the therapist or of course not judge you uh it would if there is someone who judging you it's probably yourself uh because you've uh, left your guard down and that is okay because that's why that's why you're going to the therapist and uh, it's also very important that if you're not able to cry that's okay too uh and as sia said you know, uh, you shouldn't think that uh, just because you're not crying uh, not having a great uh, value out of it uh maybe you're doing it in other ways and um if you ever think crying uh, is a problem then maybe ther uh, therapy might be the place where uh, you are able to uh, leave your defense and actually like be yourself thanks for watching for more discussions make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell also make sure to like and comment more topics that you'd like to see us discuss we'll see you next time